So hi guys doing the first thing you want to notice is that these texts are white in color but ours is black right we didn't notice it much because the background is still white now we have to treat the background the way it should be which is basically um, change the color so to change the color you come to Google and search for um, CSS um, CSS 3 gradient it's called gradient because when you look at it, you will see that um, it's basically changing gradually from this color to a lighter version of that color. Um, like I said, if you spend more time, you can find it. So one way they describe, one place they describe it is in um, W3 schools, and other places in Mozilla. So I'm just going to choose W3 schools. And if we open on W3 schools, we can see examples of how a gradient can be sorted out. You see. This one is moving from top to bottom. Look at the code. This one is moving from right, left to right. I think this makes sense for what we might need. So we will do the same thing again that we did for the Jumbotron. In, in the Jumbotron, we added a class and um, we were able to customize it. So here we have to add a class to this container, to this div. I'm just going to call the class, uh, what do we call it? Um, fresh content. I think we should call it fresh content. Fresh content. So we're good. So we can now come to our custom styles and now do dot fresh content. Fresh dash content. And um, we can do what they had here. So this sorts out the background. So let's see. What it looks like in reality so um remember that we still have to change the color of the text here we are we reload okay so now we're looking at it here as you can see it doesn't look awesome but at least it does part of what we want so the first thing we will do is to work on um this font color so to work on font color remember how we did it before on font color I know if you know CSS you might be tempted to change the font color from here but it's not ideal for bootstrap in bootstrap as much as possible you're trying to use the color like the bootstrap classes so text light changes our color to light you see so we can come to the fresh content and add it so here we'll make everything beautiful again so we see everything is now light so we can our next task is to battle to try and get this color um, like I wouldn't waste so much of my time doing that but I just want to show you that if you click on this I think one way to do that is to pan to the right all right all right we're good click it we're good pan to the right custom CSS so we're looking for this color if you place your mouse if you're using vs code it will show you <coughs> some of you can see better than i do so you can get the color more accurately than i can ever do so i think we nailed the color there then we have to do it again but for a lighter version of the same color so we'll go to red again and we'll look for something a little lighter a little so we're good we save <coughs> and um, don't worry I'll show you the numbers once I get it right look at the numbers if you want to do yours you have to type the numbers exactly I'll show you don't worry uh, I just want to be sure that I've gotten it a little bit oh makes sense a little so um we still have to light it up just a little more the second one we need to light it up just a little more make it lighter just a little more cool save reload mm, I'm not impressed yet I need to light it up just one more time the second one a little lighter oh cool save and then uh, of course I can't waste my whole day here okay makes sense here all right and um, I think that's it basically what we need to do here so in other words not to waste your time the next video we have to close up this um, 
space. Alright, see you guys.